Hi, I'm Mina, and welcome to my Fat Eliminator Workout. The best way to burn fat is to maximize the amount of calories you use. We'll do just that by alternating one and a half minutes of strength and two and a half minutes of cardio in six four minute time periods called circuits. In just 30 minutes, you'll boost your metabolism, tone all of your muscles, and have fun doing it. At the end of the program, I've designed an optional 15 minute bonus using light hand weights to really fine tune your muscles. Let's get started warming up the body now, shifting your weight side to side with an alternate shoulder roll, right and left. Ready girls, here we go. Open up the chest, now hold it center and inhale up. Good, again, shoulder roll, make it bigger now. Take it center and inhale. Staying right here, flat back down for a stretch. Round up through the spine. Let's take it down again. Good. Step tap to the front, hands to the hips. Bending the knees. Step tap side. That's it. Reach and pull to the front. Good. Reach and pull to the side. That's it. Warming up the body. A couple more. Good. We've got a great workout to do today. Now, step touch right and left. Good. Bend the knees. Getting down a little bit lower. Keep the spine long, chest is lifted, and abdominals are tight. Start to slide the foot on the floor as if you're speed skating. When you feel comfortable and ready, add in an arm reach. Opposite arm is leg. Let's try that right here, you guys. Good. Keep the abdominals tight, couple more. Now, two step touches to the right. Good, take it to the left. Step and cross behind. That's a great find, adding arms. Twice more. Staying with the grapevine, let's add on to it. Step and tap front and back. Twice more. Just let your arms go loose. Take it to the left. Step tap. Let those shoulders warm up. Very good. Travel right. Turning the hips more now. Good. This movement's gonna get bigger in the cardio portion. Take it to the left. The taps will become kicks and the taps back will become lunges. Alternate knee lift right here. Twice more. Now kick it side. Good. Karate kick style. Knee lift. Very good. And kick it side. Toes point front on those karate kicks. To the knees. One more time. Good. Now, feet come together. Step that right foot back for a quick stretch in the calf. Open up the chest. Step those feet together. Take the left leg back for a calf stretch. Clasp the hands, open up. Moving on to our first bit of strength now. Stand with your feet. Shoulder distance are slightly wider apart. Shoulders are aligned over the hips. The chest stays lifted and the abdominals stay tight. Sitting back into your hips, take it down for a basic squat right here. Good. That's it. A couple more. Three more. Keep the squat going, working the outer thighs. Lift the leg to the right, side leg lift. Now to the left. Good, alternating sides. You've got it. Good. Really focus on the abdominals, keeping them tight. They're like your natural weight belt. Stay down in the squat and pulse. Keep contractions. Good. Keeping the muscle contracted always, really fatiguing it fast. Really feel the burn. <laughs> Pay attention and keep that chest lifted, abs tight. A couple more. You've got it. Last four, three, two. Stand up, walk the feet in hip width apart. Sitting back into your hips and heels, take it down for a ski squat. Let's try that right here. Good. Now get that breathing going. We've got the cardio portion coming up in a few seconds. Very good. 
One more. Moving on to cardio now. Take it back to the peak contractions right here. Bend it down. The movement gets bigger. Good. Upping the intensity. Lift those heels up. Good. So it's a little bit of a plyo jump. Whew. Let's add an arm reach. Good. Very good. A couple more. Good. Now squat and side leg lift push. Pushing from the glutes. Really bend the knees. Eight more. Four. Back to the plyo jump right here. If the intensity is a little bit too much, hands can always stay at the hips. Squat and push side. But use that breathing to help. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Plyo jump. You've got it. Come on, keep it up. I want your energy. Take it to the side. Last set. Remember those knees? Let's lift them right here. Whew. Karate kicks now. Nice. Back to knee lift. Abdominals are tight. Kick it side. The breathing is steady. Keep going. Movements are bigger and bigger. Good, keep it up. That is a nice kick I saw out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> side tap with a jump. Good. We've got it. Let's add a little bit of intensity with an arm reach overhead in four, three, two. Here we go. Woo. Doing great. A couple more. Remember, those hands can stay down or up. Good. Hold it center and march it out. Hold it right here. We are moving on to our second circuit of cardio and strength. Strength first. But before we do, I want to talk you through a reverse lunge because that's what we'll be starting with. Step your right leg back behind you. Torso is centered between both feet. When you lower down to the ground, the front knee stays over the ankle, not past your toes. And then use your legs to push you back up center. Getting ready for your strength now. Alternating lunges right and left. Good. One and a half minutes of strength. We've got it. We can do it. Chest stays lifted, abdominals tight. Last two. Keep the movement going. Stay down and pulse three. Stand up, left side. Three, two, one. Let's do it again. Now it's not a bounce, it's a slow controlled movement. Very good. A couple more. Squeezing in the glutes. I love these reverse lunges because they really do work the glutes. Twice more. Good. Now, changing it just a little bit. Lunge back and hamstring curl and lunge again. Stand up, left side. Lunge, curl, lunge, step together. Bring that heel in towards your glutes. Squeezing the backs of your thighs. Good. Whew. That's it. Good. Now, instead of bending the knee, straighten it. Lift it up straight. Hip extension. Keep those hips squared front. We're working the glutes. Avoid trying to open. That's it. Good. Get ready for that cardio right here. Back tap. Cardio is two and a half minutes. I think we've got it. Up the intensity now. Whew. Arms reach front and back. Front 
front and back. Good. Grapevine to the left. Tap it front and back. As I promised, these are getting bigger on the next time. Take it to the right and kick it front and lunge back. Good. Movements are bigger. Take it to the left, kick it front, and lunge back. Woo. Try it again, right. That's it. One more time to the left. Moving on to scissors jumps. Feet come forward and back right here. Good. You can keep it lower impact or jump it higher. That's up to you. But the intensity should feel moderate to challenging. Using the arms, reaching front and back. Let's try it here. Whew. Good. Use that breathing to help. Stay in the scissors. We're doing a plyometric lunge jump. Feet together, slowing it down. Right here, let's go. Whew. Good, twice more. Good, back to scissor jumps. <sighs> Breathing is really steady. Give me those plyo jumps. Lunging and feet together. You got it. Whew. And back to scissors. How we doing? <sighs> One more set, plyo lunge. Hands to the hips. Last time, right here, and march it out right and left. Good. Moving on to our third circuit. Hold it right here. Starting with the strength portion first. Open the legs. Toes are turned out, hands at the hips. And plie squat right here. That's it. Chest is lifted, abdominals tight. Now take a look at your knees. Make sure that they are following in the same direction as your toes. If they're twisting inward, then bring your toes in a bit. It depends on the flexibility within your hip joint. Keep it going. Plie squats really work the inner thighs and the glutes, but it's also up to you. Make sure you put your mind into the muscle groups. Prepare for a change, plie and slide to first. First position, that is, like a ballerina. Very good, heels come together. Pressing your body weight down into the ground. Squeezing your inner thighs and your glutes, especially at the top. A couple more. Keep the breathing going deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth. Four more. Twice more. Step it out, deep contractions right here. Good. That's it, stay down, really fatiguing the muscles. That cardio portion is coming up. Get ready. Let's go on to it, right here. Okay, doing a plyometric jumping jack first. Bend the knees, jump the feet into center, bending the knees, jump the feet back out, and back into center. Let's try that at tempo. Four, three, two, let's go. That's it. Now you don't have to jump as high. I got a little excited there. <laughs> you can stay lower. That's up to you. Just watch your intensity. It should feel moderate to challenging. Keep it going. Eight more. Seven, that's it. I am really feeling the burn in the inner thighs. <laughs> Taking it faster. Regular jumping jack here. Good. That's it, very good. Keep the breath going. I am feeling like a cheerleader. So let's add those arms. Arms come up to the side straight, let's go. Woo. Keep it going. Remember that slide movement, like you're speed skating? We're gonna try it. Let's try it now. Right here, good. Hands to the hips first. Get the movement. Spine is long. Chest is lifted. Adding in the arms. Let's do it now. 
Opposite arm as leg. Reach out with the leg. Good, stay down. Keep the abdominals tight. If you're ready for more intensity, you can add a bit of a jump to it. I know we're ready to try it. So let's try it right here. Add some air. Good. A little hop. Really focus. Good. A couple more. That's it. Last four. Two more. Last one. Back to that plyo jumping jack right here. Good. Take it out and in. Whew. Staying with this. Keep it up. You've got it. You're doing great. Burning a lot of calories. Now bring the feet together and just march it right and left. Moving on to our fourth circuit now. Hold it right here. Our strength portion is down on the ground. So let's lower down. Extend the right leg out behind you and then the left. We're starting with push-ups. You can be on your feet or bend the knees lower down in a modified version. Taking it down for two, here we go. And up, down for two, and up. Use your breathing to help. Inhale on the way down, and exhale when you push away. Push-ups are so good for strengthening the chest, the shoulders, and the triceps. Very good, you can do it. Keep those elbows soft at the top, just two more. One more time. Good. Now lower all the way down to the ground. Keep the palms by your side, using your back. Let's try some back extension slow. Up for two, and down. Good. Try not to press from the palms. Use your lower back. Lift, and lower. Very good. That's it. Getting stronger and leaner. And down. Take it up for two, and down, very good. Squeeze, and lower down. Good, last time, hold it right here. Bring yourself up onto a three-point kneeling stance. Right leg forward, lean the torso forward. Arms extend up straight. Now just pulse right here. Using the rear delt to the back part of your shoulder. Strengthening this muscle really helps with posture. That's it, just a few more. We are moving on to cardio right here. Come on up to standing position. Sit back into your heels and pulse. Good. Squat cardio right here. Get down. Very nice. Adding some chest. Push the arms forward now. Chest press with a squat. Keep the chest tight. How are you guys doing? Holding up with me? That's it. Very nice, keep it going. We are gonna alternate the, the presses. And you're gonna do left and right. Let's try it right here. Whew. Very good. Legs are working, upper body's working. We are burning so many calories. That's it. Hands come to the hips. Down, down, down. That's it. Now. Feet together. Keep it down. We're gonna alternate sides with heel digs to the front. Let's do it now. Dig, dig. Good. Keep it down. Using the chest again. We're gonna open up our arms for big arm circles in four, three, two, let's go. Squeeze it forward. You're doing great. Keep the breath steady. Squeeze. Hands come to the hips right here. Very nice. Using the backs of our shoulders now, we're gonna circle towards the back. In four, and three, two. Let's try it. Open up. Good. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep the breath steady. 
you're doing great. Hands come back to the hips. Keep it going down. We're going back to those chest presses. Arms straight. In four, three, two, let's go. Push it forward. Really give me your energy right here. Last bit of cardio. You can do it. Very good. Okay, now, march it right and left. It's amazing how the time flies when we're alternating strength and cardio. Hold it right here now. Circuit number five, starting with the strength portion. Toes are out, arms are up, and let's plie. Good. Keep those heels together. Squeeze your inner thighs when you stand up. And your glutes, too. Arms aren't out for nothing. We are working our shoulders just by holding them out. We'll keep them pressed down. Four more. Good. Keep the arms out. Feet parallel, calf raise. Up. Good. Raising up as high as you can, squeezing the calves. Bend the arms into 90. Externally rotating now so the palms face up. Let's go. Very good. Working the rotator cuff muscles too. Squeeze. Squeeze those calves as hard as you can. Good. Twice more. Arms come out and plie A right here. Very good. That's it. Two more. Arms come up overhead now. Very nice. Keep those shoulders away from the ears, but really squeeze in the shoulders. And the legs, too, all at once. We are ready for cardio right here. Okay, space the legs out. Arms are up, alternating the punches left and right. Let's take it now. Good. Now, you're never fully locking out the elbow in the punches. The power comes from the shoulder. Very nice. And two. Hold the left arm right here. Punch. Good. Really pushing from the shoulder and pulling back fast. Keep it going. That's it. Three and two. Alternate the punch. Pow. Good. Nice and tight. Think about keeping it underneath your chin. That's it. A couple more. And breathe. And two. Right arm punches right here. Up. That's it. Doing great. Good. Couple more. Four. Three. Two. Now bring the feet together and just jump center. Right here. Bend those elbows up. Little circles forward right now. Good. Jumping rope. Working the rotator cuff muscles again. Very nice. Changing the circles back. Good. That's it. You don't have to jump high. Just give me your all-out effort and energy. Hands to the hips. Jump it out wide. Good. Back to those alternate punches. Let's try it now. Left and right. Punch. Good. Nice and strong. Very nice. Keep the breathing going. Four, three, two, left arm only. Punch. Good. Four, three, two, alternate. Here. Very nice. Strong. Four, three, two, right arm right now. That's it. Doing great. Good. Take it to march, right and left. Woo. I want your energy for circuit number six. Hold it right here. Stand with the feet shoulder distance apart. Bend the arms. Now, pivoting on the right leg, push up. Thumb coming towards the back. Use the back muscles to pull the elbow back down. Push and pull on the right side. Let's try it right now. Here we go. Up and down. Push and pull. Squeeze the right glute as well. That's it. 
push up, squeeze down. Three more. Good. Two. Left leg comes in on the tippy toes, hands at the hips. One leg squat. Let's try it. Sitting back into the hips and the heels. Chest stays lifted. Squeeze the right buttock. Very nice. That's it. Whew. Good. Keep it going, breathing. Two more. Step it out now. Other side, bend the elbows up. Push and pull, left arm, here we go. Push and pull. Squeeze the left buttock. Good. Shoulders and back. Glutes all in one. Burning a lot of calories, two more. Right foot comes in and sit. Very nice. Down into that one leg squat, really works the glutes. Good. Keep the abs tight. Two more. We are ready for our cardio right here. One leg hop side to side. Let's try it, girls. Right here and hop. Knee up. Good. Now it's the last bit of cardio, but certainly not the least. So I want you to give me all of your energy right here. Add the arms overhead. Up. Good. Nice and strong. Come on. Really burning it out now. That's it. You can do it. Keep it up. And three, two, alternate knee lifts right here. Reach and pull. Those knees are high. And pull those arms down real strong. Are we working back there? Good. I know you're working hard too. Keep it up. Four and three, two more. Hamstring curl, let's go. Right here, squeeze the hamstring, pull the heel in towards the glute. You're doing great. Adding a little bit of a hop to it. Bend and hop up, good. Come on, I know you're smiling. We are almost through this workout. Hands come to the hips. Four, three, and two. One leg hop. Here, good. Come on, jump up, up, lift the knee. That's it. Adding the arms right here, overhead. Good, nice and strong. Really give it to me now. Almost through, you've got it. And four, three, two more. Alternate knee lifts right here. Pull it up, really burning it out. Lots of calories. Come on, four, three more, two, stay with me, hamstring curl, nice work. When you're ready, give me all of your intensity, bending the knees down, all out energy now, finish it up good, I know you can, reach and pull, Whew. you're doing great, almost there. Hands to the hips and march it out. Whew. Very good. What a great strength and cardio workout that was. Let's just cool it down now with some stretches. Holding center. Inhale up center. Exhale down. Shaking out the legs right and left. Shake it out. Good. You've worked hard and it's great to end the workout with a few stretches. Hold it right here. Right knee comes up towards the chest. Grab the upper thigh, pull in, lift the torso up. Now straighten the leg, flex the toes, feeling the stretch in the hamstrings, back part of the upper thigh. Bend the knee back into the chest and lower down. Let's do the left leg, knee up to the chest. Pull up in the torso, abdominals tight. Straighten the leg and flex the toes. Very good, breathing is deeper now. Bend the knee back in and lower, hands to the hips. Right leg lunges back, lift up, rotate the pelvis forward. Stretching the hip flexor. Very good. Press that heel down now, stretching the calf. 
arms come around, open up the chest. Stretching the chest and shoulders and biceps too even. Good. Rounding front now. Inhale, feet come together. To the left side, lunge back. Lift up and rotate forward. And hold, feeling the stretch right here. Press that heel down now, stretching the calves. We need to with all that jumping. Arms come around, open up the chest, stretching. Arms come front, inhale, pull up. Good, left arm stays up for balance. Grabbing the right ankle, pull the heel in towards the buttocks. Stretching the front part of the upper thigh, your quadriceps, very nice. Drop it down, other side, right arm up for balance. Bend, good, knees together. Very good. Okay, feet out wide, flat back down, round up and hold. Twisting to the right, hold. Over to the left. Flat back down and round up, shifting side to side. You've just finished a great fat eliminator workout. Do this program on a regular basis and watch your body change. You guys have done a great job, and so have you. This is your 15 minute Blast the Fat program. Using light hand weights, we'll do five minutes of concentrated toning for the lower and upper body as well as the abdominals. Let's get started warming up. Flat back down, holding it here, round up and release. Good. Stretch out the spine. Four more. And three, two, come all the way up. Right arm reaches up. Lift up and down. Good, left arm up. Up and lengthen, and down, right arm, reach up, and down, left arm, up, both arms up, now inhale, exhale, sink down into your right hip, or stretch and hold, inhale, pull up, exhale, sink down into the left, and hold, good, inhale up, step the feet together, Let's come down to the ground for that toning. Starting with a bent knee, knee lift. Coming down to all fours, knees are hip width apart, abdominals are tight. Take that dumbbell and place it back behind the knee. Flex the toes, squeeze the hamstring so you can hold it in place. Taking it on a slow count. Let's try it, girls, here we go. Pick it up and down, very good, up, and down, really squeezing the glutes as hard as you can. Very good. Now it's not how high you lift, but how hard you're squeezing. So I want you to take your mind and place it right into the muscles we're working. That hamstring is working hard just to hold the dumbbell in place. Now really squeeze the glutes as hard as you can. Keep the abdominals tight and spine long. Three more. Good. Two more. Take it up. Last one right here. Squeeze. Good. Grab the dumbbell now, placing it on your mat. Let's lower it down onto our sides. Form down, lift up in the torso. Stack the hips and the knees. Lift that top leg up. Rotating from the hips, knee comes down and scoops up. Let's try it. Good. Keep those shoulders back. Really fine tuning the glutes. You should feel it wrapping around into the side right here. Good. Three more. And two. Last one. Coming back to sitting position. Legs come around straight. Take that right leg and cross it over the left. Pull the knee into the chest and feel the stretch. We've got the other side to do. So let's take it around back to that bent knee lift. Take the dumbbell now, 
place it back behind the knee. Flexing the toes. And here we go. Lift up and down. Good. Squeezing hard. Keep the spine long and abdominals tight. I can't say that enough. Form is everything. Good. Hips are squared to the ground. And you're breathing. Really squeeze tight, as hard as you can. Don't rely on the exercise to give your results. Rely on yourself, squeezing tight. Four more, up and down. Three more. Good, last two, really squeezing tight. Last time, right here. Okay, lower down, grab the dumbbell, place it on the mat, coming down on the side, Lift up in the torso, and let's scoop the knee. Good. Shoulders are back. Very good. I can really feel that. You guys, too? Nice work. Four more. Last two. Good. And coming back to sitting position, legs come around, right leg straight, left knee scro crosses, pull up and stretch. Good. Undo the legs and cross them in front, right here. Moving on to upper body now. Let's come up to a three-point kneeling position, right leg forward. Go ahead and grab those weights. Good. You're lifted in your torso, but leaning forward. Thumbs point in towards one another. Bending both elbows up at the same time. Let's take a two-arm row, squeezing our shoulder blades together. You ready? Here we go. Up. Down. Squeeze tight. Good. Keep that spine long. No rounding in the shoulders. Form is everything. So really focus. Good. That's it. Squeezing tight and rolling the shoulders back at the top. Good work. Working the upper back and the lower two. Four more. Use a breathing to help. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Two more. One more time. Squeeze hard for me. Good. All right. Lift up in the torso a little bit more. Bend those elbows up. Using the triceps, let's straighten the arms into a tricep kickback. Good. The only part of your arm moving is your forearm. Nothing else. No momentum. Let's make those triceps work hard. Those shoulders down, away from the ears. Four more. One more. Good. Now bring those legs in. Staying up on the knees, palms facing forward. Double biceps curl. Let's try that now. Squeezing tight. Elbows stay underneath the shoulders, so we're really targeting the biceps. Come on, squeeze it tight. It. Contract and flex those biceps. Four more. That's it. Two more. Good. Left leg comes front. Good. Side lateral raise, but on a slow count. Let's take the arms up to shoulder height. Up and down. Good. Squeeze. it up. Slow on the way down. Resist the weight. There's a soft bend in your elbows and your wrists are straight. That's it. Very good. Good work, girls. We're working hard. Four more. Squeeze. Keep the abdominals tight, chest lifted. 
two more. Up and down. Last time. Good. Staying right here. Lower the torso down a little bit more. Thumbs pointing towards each other. Arms stay straight. Rear delt fly on a slow count. Up and down. Very good. Working the back part of our shoulder really helps improve posture. Helps you to stand up straight because you can pull your shoulders back. So squeeze them tight. Couple more, I know you can do it. Use the breathing to help. Lifting up and down. Four more now, come on. Drop the waist now onto the floor, and let's come around, feet front, into a cross leg position. Left arm comes across for a shoulder stretch. Push the shoulder down. Good. Ooh. Right arm front. Stretch it out. Both arms come up. Bend down for a tricep stretch. Right here, other side. Arms down. Okay, let's get those abdominals now. Take the weights and move them away. Over onto the side. Swing the legs around. Feet on the floor. Grab the backs of your thighs and slowly lower down. Heads, hands come behind the head right here. Taking the shoulders off the ground, give me a, an upper crunch right here. Squeeze. Good. All right, let's really get this going now. Squeeze the abdominals inward as hard as you can when you lift up. Working the entire abdominal muscle. Even though the shoulders are just coming off the ground, we're really working hard. Keep it going, four more. Good, hold it right here. Rest the head on the ground. Bend the knees up. Calves are parallel to the ground. Reverse crunch, hips come off the floor. Let's try it. In. Good. It's not how high you lift, but how hard you squeeze. Keep the movement tiny and really focus on pulling the abdominals inward. Pulling that navel down towards the ground. Good. Squeeze it tight. That's it. Four more. Alternating the movements. Upper, then lower. Shoulders, then hips. Good. That's it. And breathe. Very good. Up and lower. Four more, three more, nice work, one more time. Okay, let me walk you through this now. Shoulders come off the ground first, then the hips, and slowly lower down. Let's try that at tempo. Take it up, up, and lower, good, shoulders, Hips and lower. Shoulders, hips, and lower. Can really feel the burn in the abdominals. Working hard. Squeeze. Good, three more. Shoulders, hips, and lower. That's it. Last one, holding it right here. Take those arms around onto the tops of the knees now. Shoulders are off the ground, chin is towards the chest. Front leg straightens, extending out. Good, keep the abdominals tight. Bend that knee back into center. Switch sides, extend the other leg out straight. And bring it back in. 
Let's try it at tempo. Take it out and switch. Good. Out. Very good. Now we're really working the abdominals isometrically. Keep them tight. Good. Eight more. That's it. Keep the breathing steady, too. Working hard. Good. And last one. Both knees come in now. Good. Lower the head down. Lower the feet down to the ground. Arms come around behind the head. Using the obliques, take your shoulder, direct it towards the knee, and alternate sides. Let's try that right here. Up and down. Squeeze. Very good. Try to keep those shoulders up and lifted. So you're working the abdominals the entire time. Good. That's it. Keep it going. Four more. And three. Two. Now for a quick stretch, pull those knees into the chest. Stretching out the abdominals. One leg extends out at a time, front leg, and then back. Take those arms up overhead and reach tall. Lengthen now, that feels wonderful. Good. Roll over onto your side. And let's come up to a seated cross leg position. You've just completed 15 minutes of intense targeted toning. Use this program alone or with my fat eliminator workout to get maximum results. You've done a great job.